Now, there are lots of non-photographic lenses that you can adapt. I ought to know I've adapted and tested dozens and dozens of them. One of my personal favorites is this Leica 90mm f2.5 color plan slide projector lens. This lens, when adapted, does cover a full frame sensor. It's easy to adapt and it takes great photos. Here's a few recent images that I've taken with this color plan lens. Notice how sharp they are. Notice the creamy bouquet. And notice above all else, the rich and luxurious color that this Leica or Lights 90 millimeter F2.5 F2 color plan projector lens creates. Now this color plan lens is popular among a lot of photographers. At the end of this section, I'm going to link to a gallery of color plan photos that were taken by other photographers. I think you'll enjoy looking at them. Now let's take a closer look at this incredible lens and how I like to adapt it. The color plan lens was designed by Dr. Walter Mandler of Leica. And he used the same design in this color plan lens as he did in the $700 Leica R 90 millimeter F2.8 lens. Both of them have a very simple optical design of only five elements in four groups. Now this old lens has been discontinued for many decades and when you buy a new one, it often comes with a lot of dust and haze and debris inside. And I almost always take it apart and clean it up real good after I receive it. Now here's a video I, th I thought you might like that I made showing how I disassemble one of these lenses. It's really easy. Check it out. Now after I clean up a new lens, the next thing I do is glue a 49 millimeter metal lens hood onto the front to help reduce glare. And these metal lens hoods come in various sizes. They're all 49 millimeters and I just use super glue to glue them on. Now there are various types of uh, color plan lenses. Uh, some of them are made in Germany, some in Portugal, and some are called CF. They have a CF on them. And I don't care for the CF lenses. I don't care for the ones made in Portugal. My favorite have Leitz Wetzlar Germany on them. I prefer the Leitz Wetzlar, Wetzlar uh, Silver German color plan lenses. Now, not all of the silver made in 
Wetzlar Germany lenses are color plans. Uh, here's a picture of one that's called a Hektar, H-E-K-T-O-R, like a lens. And these come in some of the very same uh, slide projectors that color plans come in. And color plans, from my experience, are a lot better and more desirable than any other version of Leica slide projector lenses, like the Hector. Now there are two ways to adapt a color plan lens. The first way is to use a bellows. Here's a small M42 bellows, and as you can see, it doesn't fit into this one. Here's a little bit larger M42 bellows. As you can see, it's, it's larger, and it doesn't fit in either. But if I remove the front mount from the bellows, it, it fits in there nicely. Now, if you're interested in getting this particular bellows, it's a Russian version. Although I'm sure there are many other countries that manufacture a larger sized M42 bellows like this one. But at any rate, as you can see, it moves back and forth in there and it stays in place really good without glue. But you could glue it if you'd like. On the rear end is a M42 uh, screw mount and you can attach an adapter. I found that the full size adapters like this uh, M42 to FX Fuji X uh, adapter are a little bit too thick. So what I found works better is I get myself a slim mount like this M42 FX Slim, S-L-I-M mount, and I screw that on the end. Uh, and this then attaches to my Fuji X camera. Uh, and uh, with this particular setup, uh, I'm good. And if I extend it all the way, and let's say I was taking a picture of my microphone here, which I did with this very bellows. If I extend it all the way, uh, I'm focusing about three inches from the microphone. It looks like this. And if I retract it all the way, uh, I will find that the focus point is about three feet away, and I'll get the entire microphone in the picture. So you can use this type of a bellows with a mirrorless camera, uh, and it'll get you uh, focusing from th uh, three inches to three feet. And now let's talk about the second way to adapt a color plan lens. This is my favorite way. It involves using the OEM focusing helicoid that comes with the lens. Now there are two types of focusing helicoids. This is the old version that was used on the old style slide projectors. And this is the new version that comes with brand new slide projectors. Now they both have the same silver color plan lens in them, but as you can see, the helicoids are very, very different. Now frankly, when I get a color plan lens from a new slide projector, a new Leica slide projector, uh, and I have my hands on one of these new style helicoids, I throw them away. They can't be adapted. However, the old style helicoid looks like this that came on the old projectors is very easy to adapt. Let me show you how I do it. First, I take a 49 to 55 millimeter step-up ring and I screw it onto the threads on the bottom of the helicoid. Then I get myself a 52 millimeter reversing ring in whatever your camera mount comes in and I glue it onto the bottom of the step-up ring. And you end up with a very simple, a very elegant, and a very secure method of adapting the old style focusing helicoid. Now, let me show you what that looks like. 
on a DSLR lens, it looks like this. This is a Nikon DSLR, and you focus by turning the color plan lens within its original focusing helicoid. And on a DSLR camera, this setup will focus from 8 inches to 18 inches. So in other words, it's only good for macro and real close photographs. However, on a mirrorless camera, if you mount one of these old style focusing helicoids on a mirrorless camera, like this Fuji X camera, you will be able to focus from two feet to infinity. And this actually is my favorite setup for a color plan lens. Use the original focusing helicoid and mount it on a mirrorless camera, either APS-C or full frame. Either way, you will be able to focus from two feet to infinity. As you can tell, I really love my color plan lenses. They produce some of the richest and most luxurious colors of any lens I've ever used. Consider a color plan if you love colors as much as I do.